When I came to office, the conventional wisdom was that China would inevitably surpass the United States. They haven't noticed. No one's saying that now. And we'll keep working to bring hostages home and end the war in Gaza and bring peace and security to the Middle East. As you know, I wrote a peace treaty for Gaza. A few days ago, I put forward a proposal that brought us closer to doing that than we've done since October 7th. We're working around the clock, my Secretary of State, to prevent a wider war and reunite hostages with their families and surge humanitarian health and food assistance into Gaza now. To end the civilian suffering of the Palestinian people and finally, finally, finally deliver a ceasefire and end this war. Those, trust, those protesters out in the street, they have a point. A lot of innocent people are being killed on both sides. Just as we worked around the clock to bring home wrongfully detained Americans and others from Russia in one of the most complicated swaps in history, but they're home. Kamala and I are going to keep working to bring all Americans wrongfully defamed around the world home. I mean it.